Well, this is the drain tile job. I'm installing a um, storm sump, concrete storm sump. So let's see the hole where I'm working. I'm using a jackhammer here because there is a hard pen there. It means very hard rock-like soil. It's not possible to dig. So that's the hole, you know, in which I am. I, you, can you see the water there? This water actually acts like a level. This is the proper level I want to reach. So I still have to jackhammer and remove some soil, probably five, some, some hard pen, five, six inches or so. And this is the view from inside of the <laughs> hole. This is the line, the outgoing line. A little bit of cr cracked, so I have to fix it. So it's at the proper level, at, to the bottom, to the invert, right here. To this part, it's uh, 20 inches. Uh, what's required in Vancouver is, I think, 17 or 18 inches in most municipalities too. So uh, I give it 20 inches. This is the line that comes in. You see, it's a drain tile with a hole. Of course, I, I will put some gravel there later on uh, because the sh it should be encased in gravel in about, about six inches above and all around so that the water can get in. Yes. This is the other beauty, another one. You see, it's got a hole in there. Two actually, <laughs> many holes, yeah. So the same, you know, this stuff will go and it will be encased in gravel. My extra soil just went there underneath the stairs. There's not even no access to underneath the stairs. Who the heck knows where it is? Well, I'm just happy I could accommodate it. So, and with this stuff, check it out. This is the, this is the proper level there. And we just have to make sure that, uh, yeah, that this hard pan, just this type of freaking soil is removed so that we can actually put the riser, the ring, concrete ring in. Well, as you can see, I'm almost there. And as usual, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm at the right level. <laughs> it has to be the rock, right? As the last step, some major obstacle. Why does it happen in nature? The hell I know. Rocky, rocky on the wall. Who's the fairest of us all? Oh man, okay. Well, I tell you what, I'll have to fuck it up to pieces. Just like the Russian army is fucking up the Ukrainian army. Let's do it. Well, surprisingly, it took about three minutes to get it out. So, yeah, thank God it was not so bad. Yeah, the rock is gone, successfully gone. It looks like a cavity in a tooth. What we have right now, we already have the hole ready. Look at the water level. Uh, there's a difference of about one inch or inch and a half. It's, it's fine. We will, uh, we have space, lots of space here, carved out. Look at the walls, you know, they are carved out, uh, not actually on this side, but on this side with the jackhammer. Yeah, there would be no digging here. Doesn't matter how heavy you are. Uh, you see those jackhammer marks, so Yeah, we are at the right level and we'll be able to how to say to shim the ring. It means professionally it's called riser and that's what you should call it, riser. Uh, so that uh, well, everybody in the industry knows what you're referring to. This is the outgoing line. This is the drain tile. Uh, I'm just doing this with my hand, so bear with me. Coming in. This is another drain tile coming in. And of course I measured them more exactly than this. But just to give you an idea, the incoming lines, drain tiles have to be higher, usually two inches higher. But if it's one inch, that's fine. Even it's okay if it's three quarters of an inch. It's, as long as it's higher than the line, than the storm sewer line going out of your uh, sump. So the drain tiles have to be higher, preferably two inches higher than the line picking them up and going 
into the city sewers. Okay, the first riser is in. Yeah, so this the bottom will be, how to say, I will pour some cement, about one, two inches of it. Those holes here, you see those uh, for lifting it. You know, if someone has a crane, they will have to be plugged, sorry, they will have to be plugged up with the, um, with cement, preferably hydraulic cement. This one, some fast setting cement on the bottom, but it will be at the end. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what we have here. So that's the first one. Okay, and the second ring is in. Nice. Well, that's how it looks like from this perspective. And these are the straps I had on hand. I had bigger ones, but I can't find them. Ah, thank God for these. Uh, okay, so the pipes are hooked up. Check it out. Of course, I will need to put the backwater valve and plug up the holes here with the hydraulic cement. Use hydraulic cement. It's the cement that sets very fast within a couple of minutes. Of course, those holes will have to be plugged up. The same with this one. I'm sticking out to it, three inches or so. The same one in here, a couple of inches. And, you know, of course, there'll be some patch work, you know, with the, with the holes, yeah. And um, on the part that was per, uh, perforated, means with holes, I added some, um, how to say, some, um, gravel yeah the same the same is in here so there's gravel on the on the part which is over there you know on top of it there's a little bit of soil this part here is the solid pipe so it doesn't need any gravel by the way what I'm using I'm using hydraulic you see, this is a uh, hydraulic stop, quick stop. I get it from Home Depot. It's very good, actually. Pretty expensive, but very good. And um, it's important where you get it from because some of them, they take forever to set. They, I think they are, uh, they're not well done, you know. So this Home Depot, quick greet, is really, really good. Okay, well, I uh, use hydraulic cement around the pipes and around the seams here, so the cement is already hard. And there's another one here, this outgoing. Yes. Just a sec. How is it? Oh yeah. I will be hooking up the back water valve to this one. So otherwise, you know, I sealed the seams so you do not know which which uh, how to say um, which riser is which so that it becomes one watertight because it should be watertight the barrel and uh, poured some concrete on the bottom so it's fast setting ah, in two hours will be fine so there will be a concrete floor yes you can buy the riser with the with the how to say with the already uh, precast con concrete floor but you know what it's heavy as hell very difficult to handle I would say don't do it Okay, it's the following morning. We have to fill it up. Look at this water there, which is good. Good for us because it will pack the soil. We won't have to tamp it. So that's excellent. Just make sure you never, ever, ever, ever throw stuff on the pipe. Throw it to the left and right and let it naturally slide. And never throw any uh, backfilling, you know, any backfill over the pipe itself. Okay, and this is our new sump in action. There should be minimum two inches uh, elevation of the incoming pipe. I've got three inches, you see. And now, you see the storm sewer line. It means the outgoing pipe, you see it's working. 
because it's lower like I say minimum two inches if it's half an inch lower that's fine too but it depends on them on the, um, how to say on the on the inspector and there's another one let's take a look upside down yeah the same you see these two this one and this one come from the drain tile system and this one takes the water to the to the city to the municipal water disposal system check it out now we seem to be having a problem right this is the problem you see it's not level it should be level like this it's not level what do we do well we have two more rings to go two more rings to go and uh, two feet of elevation it means upwards and what we will do is uh, we will shim using the rocks and hydraulic cement but the shim using the rocks we will uh, put the next ring then lift this part in this direction on this side up until the level will be at the proper level position like that then we will stabilize the lifted uh, ring with hydraulic cement it means fast setting cement that sets in about five to ten minutes depending on the temperature and then yeah we will continue we will have uh, the flat uh, ring the flat uh, riser and the next the last riser will be already set on a on the leveled riser so this riser is no good uh, well that's fine let it be that's the that's the plumbing trick then the next riser we will level it perfectly and then the last riser because there's two risers to go the last riser will be level okay you see i used a little bit of hydraulic cement because i didn't have much it says it's already hard uh, to, to stabilize the top uh, riser you know to, how to say to raise it I use the rock actually two rocks here all of it you know will have to be filled out all this hole now let's look at the level level is level like this in this direction and then in the other uh, plane it's good enough so it's all good and you see the lower how to say the lower uh, pipe the, the one that goes to the storm sewer is collecting water non-stop and these ones are higher so that's it that's how you do it you know stabilize it and then yeah fill it up you know and using using rocks okay this is the inside patched up good enough for now yeah let's let it set and let's check the level it's never enough of checking good let's put it somewhere else good enough okay okay the inside is patched up now it's just enough to fill it up to the brim so that I so that I can roll on uh, another riser it is important to uh, backfill it uniformly on all the sides I backfilled here on this side because the first three barrels were leaning towards us so I want the soil to be on our side from which we are filming to hold it from any possible shift and breaking of the pipes and now I'll have to backfill here and then uh, after the fourth barrel uh, sorry after the fourth riser is um, installed I just backfill all the rest including the part underneath the stairs but please make sure that uh, you backfill it uniformly and especially supporting the side towards which the first couple of two or three or four barrels, sorry, risers can be mm -mm, uh, leaning. Just a look from this angle. 
okay the fifth riser is in so yeah that's how it is you know I don't know about the owner how he wants it to stay well uh, there will be some soil maybe right at the top maybe less if he wants me to drop it so in order to drop it uh, you'll have to if it's your case you'll have to just uh, jackhammer you know the, the bottom of it you know or the bot bottom of the uh, riser you know so it will draw all around all all around the things and it will drop now let's see uh, sorry let's see level it's never enough okay good good okay just put the lid in and backfill it and oh, okay okay and this is the finished sump with the backwater valve check it out this 90 degree elbow there it's called street elbow is to prevent the floating debris from entering the backwater valve and jamming it the truth is those backwater valves they never do the job the idea is excellent the in real life they basically never work so when the water backs up they are stuck usually stuck or there's some other problem with them it doesn't work but you know i installed it because that's what the customer wants and that's what the code requires okay and that's finished it's the evening the walkway is cleaned up good enough let's see that's the newly installed sump 